Hey beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to another video and if you're new here my name is Laura Couture and today I'm going to show you how to sew an easy sewing pillow tutorial and I also did another one with a zip on, um, you can press the i button to see more but today we're going to sew a, a print kit um, cushions and if you wish to buy the fabric the link will be down below and click on the pillow so without further ado let's begin so for today's tutorial, you need you need a thread scissors, a zigzag scissors, a chalk, a thread, a ripper, pins, fabric, African print, a ruler, and a tape measure that is not on the thing yet, but you know. So this fabric is on the uh, one one yard. Yeah, it's under one yard and it's printed by Supermax. I did make a fabric review. You can press the i button if you wish to have a quick look. So as you can see, it's pretty easy peel off. You just put it off. Thank you Supermax for making it super duper easy for us. So no need of using heater, no need to use iron, no need to use any D1 on how to take it off uh, the stickers from the fabric because it's nice and easy as you can see I just keep it in the video so you can see how simple it is today take it off so I fold the fabric in three just like so and I make sure that the line is online together see on the other side just like so so um, uh, when I'm folding it, I'm doing 18 by 18. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just checking that um, the measurements are correct. I don't like to be too loose. I like to be a little bit tight. So we are going by the centimeter at this point. And now I'm pinning uh, both sides. Uh, make sure as well to pre-wash the fabric. I didn't do it for that video, but if you can pre-wash the fabric uh, for any uh, project you're doing, have a clothing or house object, whatever it is, make sure to uh, pre-wash your fabric. Only if you're gonna wash in the future. If not, then that's okay. Uh, just, uh, just this is to avoid a uh, shrinkage. As you can see, make sure again that the. Um, Everything fall into place, so the lines just together, so it's uh, harmonious. So again, I measure um, 18 inch, and uh, I'm trying to make as much as um, my, as I can. And that's just to make sure that I can have a straight line down. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. yeah please be sure to uh, leave any comments of what you want to see me doing next and uh, if you want to see something more complicated or whatever you want to see your different fabric um i'm here for you guys so now i'm using my ruler is pretty i use a clear ruler which ideal I, I hope you can see it in the in the camera so I'm using a um, liquid pen, but feel free to use um, a normal chalk, uh, any chalk will do the job just as fine. So when I'm starting with reverse stitch, make sure you start right at the end um, of the fabric because when you're going to cut the corner, you don't want to leave a small hole. So make sure that when you're doing reverse stitch, you go right at the end and then you start from there and then just sew a short line down. All right, so since we have extra time, I'm going to read your previous comment that I left on, my, <laughs> on the other video uh, regarding um, with the zip. 
and Deborah said you spend more time showing how to press the seam than uh, to show the invisible zip. All right, so no pressing this time around. So I hope you appreciate that one. As hand is in the way. Oh, I, I, I can't. I can't sew. You have to sew without my hands. Um, this is the video. Um, well, you can go to Pinterest. There's pictures there, and there's no hands there. So, yeah, this is a happy hands video. Then Sandra say thank you. you. Just needed all of you before starting. Um, thank you, Sandra, for the comments. Uh, Pierre say very quick and easy. Thank you, Pierre. Uh, Banana Mama say no one want to hear your music. Thank you very much, Banana Mama. That's a very nice uh, and interesting feedback. Uh, and uh, Nappy Head say nice. Thank you, Nappy Head. Yeah. Also, let me know if you want to see a longer video on the uh, state details, or you want a short and uh, quick and easy one. So now I'm using my tele scissors secret. I could just use my zigzag scissors, but you know. Oh yeah, and also uh, when you when you cut the fabric, anything, any object, any any style you're doing, make sure you don't cut, you don't uh, leave extra room. I know African people have got tendency to leave extra extra room inside, but please don't do that. Is a is a is a fashion mistake. And I'm just coming back from the gym. I've got my gym, my gym clothes. From gym to YouTube. So that's my pillow. Um, so I'm just trying to make it as flat as I can because it's very tight. As I say, I like my uh, my cushion to be really, really tight. I don't like to be loose. So it was pretty hard to put it in here because I have too much extra room inside and it was pretty complicated so i decided to do it all over again um with another fabric and so that i can show you uh, other way to make it a bit easier i will try to call corner but as you can see i was a bit struggling for for it and i just want to make another easy way for you to do it and this is the final look as you can see it's very pretty very easy and just just two lines i just saw two lines because i'm lazy as hell and uh that's it. Try to do the, and it look fantastic in my own opinion. You can add the buttons there if you want. So this is how I look. I made uh, four of them. I was like, well, you know what? Let me just rock and roll, and then I decided to make four of them. All right. So this is another way. So I'm, I sh I shrink I shrink the the fabric a little bit shorter, um, so I can show you another way. And I just fold twice the fabric. Please refer to the picture if need be. so and again it's the same thing as before uh so make sure it's the wrong side uh, you saw from the wrong side 
and uh, is um, just for the into three again same tutorial you can exit the video from now on because um it's pretty much repetitive so i uh i found my way uh, 18 inch again i uh, put my uh, my dots on it and then i'm sewing a straight i am i'm marking a straight line down <laughs> Once it's done, I'm sewing the side again. And again, I'm cutting a half inch seam allowance. When you cut the corner, make sure you, know, you don't cut too close so that uh, you cut the threads. But not too far away as well. <laughs> you just need to find the sweet middle, to be honest. And then I'm turning back again, inside out. So it's pretty repetitive. So just for the people I want to see all over again. All right, if you learned a thing or two, please be sure to like the video. And uh, if you are a big fan of African print as much as I do, make sure to press the subscribe button and uh, the, um, the notification bell to, if you want to be the first one to watch my video, as, uh, to comment on my video as soon as I upload the video. I hope that makes sense what I just said. So as you can see, there's less room inside and it's going to be much easier to add the, to add the pillow. much 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 easier when I when I sh shrink in the fabric make it a little bit shorter all right thank you very much for watching the video until the end if you have any more questions please leave in a, a, leave in a comment below um, if you wish to buy the fabric is in the link below or the pillow as well is in the link down below and uh, if you don't do any of that thank you for watching the video uh, you you're much really appreciated and I am looking forward to see you real soon, hopefully next Tuesday. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Um, have a blessed week. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. For real, for real, for real. So, shalom.